Hey, this is Dibyo, and today we're gonna look at Donald 10 best farming strategies of 2022. Starting it off with Mass Baby Dragons. Heroes are not required in this strategy. You can farm alone with your troops, but they definitely help out a lot. We will punch the heroes in to get one of the air defenses down. They will take a while, but surely get the job done. At this point, we can zap out two air defenses, and we will also take the queen down. I have this stone slammer, so I'm going to use it. But the strategy will go smoothly even without that. But with the addition of the slammer, this really becomes a good war strategy as well. More war strategies in this video. We will deploy our baby dragons little by little here and there, and the balloons to take care of some of the defenses. After this air defense is down, it's a free reign for our baby dragons, since the inferno is also in the single mode. We will have excess of baby dragons left with us, even after tree starting this tunnel then. The second strategy that we're gonna use is Meat Shield. It also has a lot of goblins, so I'm not sure about the name, but you can change the number of groups as per your need. We will make a line of giants, followed by wizards and wall breakers behind them. What I have noticed using this strategy is that the more number of goblins you add into this strategy, the more dark elixir oriented it becomes. We will then deploy our heroes along with the remaining troops. Having a wall wrecker helps, but even without that, it's not the end of the world. You can still get a ton of loot. After a while, we can deploy our goblins, wherever there is loot available. You gotta take care of the multi-target infernos with the troops or freezes to save your troops. It's time to deploy the goblins. Surprisingly enough, they do some good tanking for our archer queen, sometimes. The third strategy we're gonna use is Queen Charge. It's a bit heavy on elixir and it is usually used for dark elixir and gold. This strategy can be used specifically for dark elixir. Well, there's not much of it in this one, but you get the point. We will let the queen decide which way she wants to walk, since this is a symmetrical base. She has made her decision, so we will respect that by making her a way on this side. I will upload a dark elixir farming strategy next. It will be linked at the end of this video, you can check that out after watching this one. We will keep checking for black mines with cocoons and reach the queen when she engages the enemy queen. This is a good time to make her away and hopefully she takes the path. Time is of essence in this strategy, so you can reach her even when she is not under heavy fire. We will deploy our king outside at some point to take out one of the sections. This strategy requires a lot of practice to 3 star, but it does not require that much of a practice to loot a lot out of a base. The king will get everything down in this side except the tesla and the queen's gonna take the final shot at that. Now time is really low so I'm kinda rushing out of panic and my healers are dying left and right because of the mines and air defense. We will freeze it up to the point we can and hope for the best. That hurts. Yeah, that hurts. Next strategy is Barge. I don't think I need to explain it. I just included this in the list because it exists. Yeah, that's the whole point. I've also included some goblins and wall breakers to get deeper into the base. We will start with taking out the splashers with our lightning spell and you know the rest. So that I will hope to get a few storages on the inside. If I get it, it's great. If I don't, no problem. We will try again. 
Our next strategy would be Goblin Knife with Pekas. It works the best for Dark Elixir, but even for other stuff, it is quite good. We're gonna deploy a Pekka and Wizard to make a funnel and Wall Breaker to get them inside the base and then deploy the remaining ladies. We also have a jump to help them go further into the base. We will deploy our heroes from the opposite side to get the storages. The king will walk out, but we should get those down. After that, we will deploy all the remaining goblins on the collectors outside the wall. This strategy is also discussed on the next video for its approach towards Dark Elixir farming. Our final strategy would be mass miners. Miners are miners. What I want to say is that they will go everywhere and all over the place without proper pathing. That's the problem with them. We will deploy our hero and try to make a funnel which will make little to no difference at all. <laughs> and you may probably be wondering why the hell I am still including this on the list. Well that's because it's a very popular town hall and farming strategy. And you can see this strategy even struggled to get 3 stars against a town hall 9. And if there was something in the clan castle, then boy, let me tell you, we would have been doomed. But anyways, I guess it is fun. Now, like I said earlier, you can check out this strategy next for Dark Elixir farming. Subscribe for more related content and like this one if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye then. They kinda remind me of that old movie.